Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Hungry here, back at it with another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be reacting to the first album of BTS. Uh, it's called um, Too Cool for School. Uh, I guess this is where I'm going to start um, listening to BTS from the very beginning all the way till now. Um, I started with their more popular songs, so I know a few of their songs already. So, you know, whenever I come across those songs, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, I guess I'll let you know my opinions about it, and um, we'll go on from there. Uh, I know in July, they are going to have another uh, single come out called Light. Uh, it's a Japanese uh, song. I want to I want to try to get all these albums out of the way so I can get caught up and, uh, you know, be up to date with their music. Let's see here. So this has seven tracks. Uh, it goes uh, intro. I'm guessing that's not an actual song, but we'll listen anyways. We got We Are Bulletproof. We got a skit. We got No More Dream, Interlude, Like, and Outro. Uh, without further ado, let's get into uh, the intro, Too Cool for School, featuring DJ Frizz. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that wasn't anything. Um, so, uh, with the next song, we have We Are Bulletproof, Part 2. Uh, there's a music video for it, so I'm going to go ahead and react to that music video. Uh, and I believe uh, there's another music video. I opened all of them up already. We Are Bulletproof has a music video. Uh, no More Dream. I cannot speak today. No More Dreams, or No More Dream, has a music video. And then uh, I think the rest of them are not music videos. So I have the lyric videos up. But uh, we have We Are Bulletproof. I'm going to go ahead and get into that music video. Let's get it. I'm gonna turn off the subtitles because I kind of just want to sit back and enjoy the music. 2013. Oh, that is when they debuted, huh? Man, it's been a long time since then. What is up with his hair? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know what kind of hairstyle that is, but uh, nice glasses, though. Uh. Oh, and I do know this is the song from that, uh, from my, uh, Try Not To Laugh video. I do know. I, I got, I got a comment saying this is where it's from, and one of my friends, Jonathan, told me as well, so. This doesn't sound too bad. I actually like how they're, like, going with this hip-hop vibe. Wow, he looks really young. I know this is when they're all younger, obviously, but... The one that actually stands out to me is Jimin. Like, he looks really young here. Or maybe he just like dras looks drastically different. That's, I don't know. Sorry if it's dark, by the way. I don't know how the lighting is right now. I don't really have good lighting yet, so hopefully I can invest in that soon. Are those ribs on his hat? This choreo is nice though. Oh. oh, what's that thing they're wearing on their hand? That looks cool. It kind of sounds weird with him singing like that. I don't know. Like a whole, the whole hip hop vibe for Jin. I mean, it's cool to know that the, the vocalist can adjust to hip hop sounds like this. Uh, which is, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. Like, it, it sounds pretty good. Like, the song is good so far. I really like it. But, like, it's it's a lot different from what I've heard so far. I can't get over this dude's hair, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what to say about it. Oh! J-Hope with the choreo. Oh, shit. Okay, Jimin. Oh! Yo, that was cool. Oh, he's got... Oh, these editing makes it look way better. Okay. We're rewinding that. 
that was pretty cool. Hold on. That's that right there was cool. Hmm. So when they performed, if well, I don't know if they still perform the song, but when they did, did they have that part in there? Cause that that's kind of cool. I might have to look that up. That one was "We Are Bulletproof" part two. I actually really enjoyed that song. Um, it was a completely different take on what I, what I'm used to hearing from them. Uh, you know, with like boy with love and fake love. This one was straight like hip hop. I know, uh, I saw somewhere that when they first started off, they wanted to be a hip hop group or if they did start off as a hip hop group or something, something along those lines. So I wonder if like this whole first album or maybe these first couple albums are that are like this. Cause I don't know. To see them evolve from that, from this right here to what they are now, it's it's crazy. Cause, I mean, I'm sure they were popular right off the rip, you know, like when they ba when they debuted. All right, so next is Skit, uh, Circle Room Talk. I'm gonna play this for a little bit. I don't know if it's an actual song or not. So if it's not, I'm just gonna edit that out. Okay, yeah, that was just them talking. I don't know if it had anything to do with the album. I didn't have like lyrics or anything up or anything like that. I was kind of just listening, so I don't know if. There was something I should have known on that, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. Next is No More Dream. This one has a music video, so I'm going to go ahead and play that. It has 89 million views. That's insane. All right. I'm already excited to get into this. All right. So here we go. No More Dream music video. Let's get it. It sounds like it just continues from Bulletproof. That's what it, that's what the song was in the background. Damn, Jin, you don't know how to drive or what? There's freaking a wall of boxes in front of you. How do you turn into it and hit it? I'm just gonna ignore that? Yeah, I guess we're just gonna ignore that. Damn, V. You mad? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. J-Hope's mask? That looks pretty cool. Oh, what the hell is he wearing? Yo, he's still rapping. Okay. I guess they kind of... Obviously, they, they veered away from it, but... Jungkook's uh, rapping. Maybe that just wasn't his thing. I like the set that they're on. It's really cool. And Jimmy looks so young, dude. I can't get over that. I can't get over that and then RM's hair. Okay. My boy Sugar. Sugar's my uh, bias, by the way. If you guys didn't know. Looks like Cyclops. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of the, the goggles he's wearing. Yeah, definitely getting these old hip hop vibes from this. Alright, gonna hit us with a six pack, huh? Alright. That's cool. Oh, that was cool. That was a cool transition. Nice. Ooh. Jimmy with those high notes, man. That set just looks like a fun place to be. They're just having fun and being crazy. Breakers, that was cool oh man yeah so uh, I really enjoyed that one that was that was a cool and fun uh, music video to watch um, the music itself that was uh, 
like it's just like a continuation from bulletproof it's like that hip-hop sound that i'm not used to because i'm going backwards here pretty much um it's, it's something i can definitely jam to though like it's a it's Huh, I wonder if they'll ever get back to that, you know, like just back to like the whole hip hop sound or maybe even their newer albums do have it. And I just listen to like the poppy ones or, you know, the ones everyone listens to. I don't hear too much about like the hip hop music that they have anymore, if they have any, but I'm curious to see if they do. Next, we got Interlude. Um, and I'm assuming it's not really anything either, but I'll listen to it. Uh, I'll probably just edit it out, though, since it's only 52 seconds. All right, next is called... Uh, like uh, i looked up on youtube it says i like it uh i played like the first like five seconds to see if it matched with the one i have on spotify here and it does i don't know why it's a different name but it is the same song um i don't know if there's any correlation to what the picture that i'm looking at now to the song but if there is then this looks completely different so let's get right into it Oh yeah, this is, I can already tell right off the bat that this is not going to be the same. So it's talking about a, an ex? So, is a song about, uh, you know, he, they, they broke up, or whoever it is, broke up with their ex. And they're still not over them, so, you know, they still follow them on social media and stuff like that. And they get comments and likes from other guys. And I guess it's like he's getting jealous. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it definitely sounds like he's jealous. <laughs> After they broke up, you look better. That's annoyingly, you still look pretty. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's kind of relatable. Like uh, after you break up with someone, you kind of. Because obviously you're attracted to them, but you break up with them, and you know they're still the same person. They still look the same. So it's like you're still attracted to how who they are and what they look like, you know, it's, I guess that's what this song's about, and it makes sense. It's weird, it's like a, if you listen to the song, it kind of feels like an upbeat song, like a love song, but it's completely different. It's about a breakup, and how they're still not over that girl because you know they still are attracted to her but they know that it's over like it's, it's done so it's kind of weird actually kind of glad i have the, the lyrics up props to the person who made this video yeah that, that song completely 180 from the other song or from the other two songs so i, f I feel like that's kind of out of place but i mean what's next like we have we have that it's an outro so i mean i wouldn't really say that's a song well it is five minutes though holy crap um i it might be a song but anyways um that was completely different that was nowhere near what i was expecting beforehand uh, after listening to those two songs, but, um, you know, yeah, that, that song's really about how they broke up, or it's about a breakup, uh, you're not over the girl, because, you know, she's, you're still attracted to her, she's still that same person that you, you liked at first, um, but she's moving on, she's still on social media posting pictures, other guys are not, you know, they're liking her pictures, commenting, and you're wondering why, like, oh, no, like, why do you still look look this way and uh why are you still attractive and all that stuff and it's more it's it's really about jealousy but if if i didn't have the lyrics up i definitely would not have thought that i really would have thought it was just like a love song but it was a good song though i, I did like that that was that was pretty good uh next and last but not least 
Uh, we have Outro Circle Room Cipher. So I'm guessing this is a song. Or maybe not a song, but it's kind of just like a cipher type thing, obviously. <laughs> I'm trying my best to keep up with these words. Yes, you should play it. Play it. Okay. I'll shoot this first. Okay. Rap on. Yeah. I'm a boy, Munchie. I'm a boy, Taka. My voice is low. Okay. I'm just having fun with this one. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell he's young. You can tell with his voice, he still sounds really young. I forgot how old he was when he started. I think he was like 13 or 14 or something like that. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> They're just having fun, man. This is this is actually fun to listen to. Oh, they got Jin too. Most handsome. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> oh. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> Migrate? Lobster. Damn. Alright. Yeah, so that one, that was just like a fun listen. Overall, uh, for this album, it was good. I actually like the, what, it was, uh, it was a bulletproof, no more dream like. I think I guess you can say that's just the only three songs on there. I actually liked all of them. Uh, I guess for the three, I can I just I want to choose like my favorite from each album, um, and then but since this one just has three, I just I'll just go my top three like in the order of how I, how much I liked it. So I think I'm actually gonna go with the order that I listened to it in. I liked Bulletproof the best. I got uh, No More Dream and then Like. Uh, it's kind of hard to put Like in between those two songs because they're they're completely different. Um, but as the album the album as a whole, I did enjoy it. Uh, I wish they had more songs on it other than you know those intros, the interludes, skits, and all that stuff. But uh, overall, I really did enjoy it. Uh, I think it's a really good start. Uh, for BTS, uh, I'm, ho I'm honestly I'm expecting more in this next album though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any feedback for me, please let me know. If I'm, uh, if, if there's any suggestions you guys want to give me to react in the future, please leave it down in the comment section. Um, I would, I would love to continue doing this. I would love to continue uh, reacting to videos that you guys would actually want to watch. Uh, right now I'm just recording videos that I already had planned. Um, so right now I'm not, I am taking suggestions, but those videos probably won't happen for maybe another, or maybe like two, three weeks. So don't worry. I am seeing those, uh, suggestions in the comment section. Um, I just haven't been able to record them yet. Um, but I will, uh, don't worry. I will definitely get all those out. 
Um, but in the meantime, I am in, I did enjoy this album. Uh, I don't know what to expect from the next album. If they're taking the same route with the hip hop, or if they kind of changed it into like the pop sound, um, or maybe that's when they started adding EDM. Who knows? I'm gonna do a five star review type thing. Um, so this album, I'd probably give it like a I don't know. I just I wanted more from it, so I would probably give it like a three and a half out of five stars. Um, not saying that songs in it were bad. I just wanted more. Um, it was I didn't feel like that was a full album. I mean, it's just their debut album, though, so, um, obviously I know what they're capable of, um, but going to, like, someone who, let's say I didn't know anything about them and I heard this and there was only three songs on it, I'd be a little disappointed, but with the songs that I did get, it was good, I liked it, so, three and a half stars, not because the songs are bad, but the length of the album, um, so yeah, Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, until next time, peace.